What's up everybody, this is Mastery and Gamer, and today I'm going to be talking more about the new Junkertown map, this time with regards to a possible upcoming new hero. And despite what you're thinking, it might not be the Queen of Junkertown. Also, at the end of this video I'll be discussing the new Roadhog comic which was just recently shown off on IGN, so be sure to stick around for that too. Now to start off, I'd be surprised if by now you haven't heard about the Junkertown Queen, and the many theories people have already come up with about who she is and whether or not she might in fact be a future playable hero in Overwatch. Normally, I don't like to just jump on bandwagons of new hero hype and immediately start assuming that any given new character in the Overwatch universe will in fact end up being a new playable hero. There have been many past characters like this, such as Brigitte and Maximilian, who I think will always just be side characters in the overarching story. And initially, that's exactly how I felt about the Junkertown Queen. Just because she seems cool and has shown up in association with the latest map isn't really selling it to me. However, the discovery of a possible new hero release date has led me to reconsider. On the Junkertown map, just above the main gate at the first payload checkpoint, we see a license plate lying on a chair which reads L03-20J. The same license plate can also be found in a side room between checkpoints 1 and 2, and it reads the exact same here as it does on the first plate. Now if we discount the letters L and J, then we just get 03-20. Given Blizzard's history with hiding details and hints towards future content, it's by no means out of the question to interpret this as being the date, March 20th. If this is in fact a hint foreshadowing something to come, we can check the day of the week for March 20th, 2018, and oh lo and behold, it's a Tuesday. The day of the week which almost every major Overwatch patch and update goes live. And even better, if we take a look at the same day of the year from 2017, we see that it's one day off from when Orisa was released as a new hero to live servers. I do real quick want to credit YouTuber Rejected Shotgun for being the source of this discovery as far as I'm aware. I first learned of it through a video of his, and after looking into it I was unable to find any other primary sources. If we are to assume that this is in fact a reference to a future hero release date, then the fact that it's located on the Junkertown map definitely seems to indicate that whatever new hero it might be alluding to will likely have some association with the Australian Outback Town. Previous hero foreshadowing has always appeared somewhere with a connection to that future hero. For example, the photo of Anna wearing her Shrike outfit can be found on Temple of Anubis, and the release date of Doomfist was hidden within the Orisa origin story video. So if we are then to assume that whichever hero will be coming out on March 20th has some kind of ties to Junkertown, the Queen herself is the first and really only major character who comes to mind. However, I'm still hesitant to just go with this inclination. Something about it just feels… fishy, and a large part of it is just that it seems too obvious. Blizzard is excellent at surprising its fans and player base, leading us to think one thing only to be caught off guard by the reveal of something even better than we had predicted. But if all of this is simply an indicator that the Junkertown Queen will be the 27th hero, and that she'll be released on March 20th, then they've already kind of ruined the surprise, right? Not only do we have a good idea of who it is and when they will release, but we literally already have an image of what she looks like, in addition to having heard her actual voice. Even Doomfist prior to his release was portrayed as only a shadowy figure whose motives and alignments were shrouded in mystery. The Queen on the other hand is, well, the Queen of Junkertown, and she looks like this, and she sounds like this. This is your Queen. Welcome to the Apocalypse. We already know more about her than we did about Doomfist before his release, and it's been confirmed that Blizzard originally hadn't planned on making him playable at all. Now of course it isn't impossible that she will be a future hero, and just as we saw with Doomfist, I'm sure if the Overwatch community gets excited enough about her, Blizzard very easily may make her playable. However, as of right now, it doesn't seem likely to me at all that this will be the case. As cool as she looks, I think Blizzard has merely set up the possibility for her to become a new hero, but otherwise aren't currently planning on making her. That does, however, bring back into question the license plate featuring what is clearly a date on it, if the Queen isn't going to be the hero released on March 20th, then who will? There's no doubt in my mind that Blizzard themselves know exactly who it'll be, as we've seen in the past that Blizzard seems to know at the very least 
an entire year ahead of time everything major they'll be doing and when they'll do it. To be honest, I suspect we wouldn't actually be able to make a good guess as to who this hero will be. At least not yet. It's most likely not even going to be the next hero, as we expect Hero 26 will be revealed in November at BlizzCon. So perhaps this easter egg was just discovered early? Maybe Blizzard thought we either wouldn't notice it or wouldn't realize what it meant this quickly. I severely hope not though, otherwise this would be a pretty terrible miscalculation on their part. After more than a year of playing their mind games and seeing how they do things, I honestly am surprised that it took the community even this long to find either of these two license plates, which are basically just lying out in the open. Additionally, giving us a date like this hasn't really given us any new information. Even without this easter egg, we still could have easily predicted this date as being when we'd most likely be seeing a new hero. Given the regular new content cycle we've seen up until this point for Overwatch, having a new hero release around this time of year is pretty much expected. Even without this hint, it'd actually be more surprising to see someone not released this coming March. So are Blizzard's fun little teasers and secrets just becoming stale? Have they left enough of the same kinds of hints for us that they've not only become predictable and easy to find, but also unexciting when they are discovered? Perhaps. Then again, it's possible that they are actually gravely misleading us with this specific hint, and it's actually just a red herring meant to throw us off track from something much bigger. It's possible, and maybe in time, this find will just serve as an indicator that every number on every map that even remotely looks like an easter egg isn't one necessarily. However, I don't think that's the case. I do think this is hinting at something specific to come, most likely a new hero. But given that the date in question is half a year away from now, I think this discovery won't actually be relevant for quite some time to come. And before I wrap up this video, I did want to mention that earlier today an article was released on IGN showing off a teaser for a new Overwatch comic called Wasted Land. It appears to feature primarily Roadhog, with no mention of Junkrat aside from the IGN article's title itself. The teaser shows off the cover of the comic along with the first page. Seems possible that Junkrat won't even have a major role in this one, and that Roadhog will be the star of the show this time. The official synopsis for it reads, The Omnic Crisis brought ruin to the Australian outback. Roadhog knows this better than most. He's seen it descend into an apocalyptic wasteland. Everything he once knew has been broken down, irradiated, or scrapped. Now all that's left is Junkertown, the place that hermits, scavengers, brutes, and killers call home. Roadhog hasn't put it out of its misery. Not yet, but he's been tempted. So this sounds super exciting and I cannot wait to get to read this. I'm betting it'll dive into the origin story of Roadhog, maybe talking about how he first came to associate with the Junkers and probably Junkrat specifically as well. I've got the slight feeling that this story might be a bit sad in some way or another, so we'll have to wait and see. The article mentions that the comic will be released within the next couple days, so it sounds like it'll be soon. My expectations were that it would release at the same time as the Junkertown map is to live servers. However, that most likely won't be for at least another week or two, so hopefully we won't have to wait that long for this comic. I think it's interesting how much attention the Junkers have been getting recently with all things considered. Both Junkrat and Roadhog have seen recent balance changes and buffs. The new Junkertown map was revealed and released onto the PTR. They got their short animation at Gamescom and now they're getting what will actually be their second comic. I'm a huge fan of the Junkers and their lore, so I'm not complaining in the slightest. If the license plate on Junkertown is referencing a future Junker related hero, then regardless of whether it's the Queen or not, I'm pretty excited about that too. So with that, the time to speculate is nigh. Leave a comment below saying what you think the license plate number means, and whether or not it is in fact referring to the Junkertown Queen as being a playable hero. Also, how excited are you for the new Wasted Land comic? Be sure to vote in today's poll card to share your thoughts there, too. I'll have links to everything I talked about in this video down in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and hit that bell icon to keep up with all my future content. This is Mastery and Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.